Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your angel card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy the readings and have a really positive week. Aries. Here are your cards from the Teacup Tarot deck for this week, starting the 20th of November. And your overall energy here, the Two of Teacups card, is all about communication. It's about conversations and discussions. It's about having a really clear understanding of one another. So, in your dealings with anybody else this week or your conversations, make sure that you're crystal clear and that you clearly understand one another. Your help or your hurdle, the Knight of Pencils comes charging in on the motorbike with a message to choose with care. So when you are discussing options or options are placed in front of you or you have choices, just take your time, talk it over and make wise and sensible choices. Your guidance here, the page of wands, brings in lots of new information, news, messages, positive changes. It might be new information, new ideas. It might be new opportunities. So here they are coming in and you are reminded to choose with care and just think about things carefully. How can we help ourselves? The Nine of Pencils comes in as a mindfulness card, saying focus on what could go right. Very often we are programmed to do just the opposite. So stay positive and stay focused. Pulling it all together, the Three of Pencils says this is a time just to take your time and then it's a time of healing and moving on. And your outcome card, the justice card, is about moving forward with integrity, with honesty and allowing your moral compass to guide the way. So when you are led by fairness and wisdom and good, solid choices, the road is open in front of you. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. The 16 of Wisdom is about positive life changes. This is you finding what you're looking for and it also reminds you to focus on what you do well and enjoy doing that. It's doing what you love and loving what you do and making those positive changes. The two of thought says it's time to decide. Trust that you already know what to do. And it's interesting that it's fallen next to this choices card here. The two of thought says make a choice. Get all your information together and then decide. The one of thought brings in clarity and new ideas. So here we are. This is the start of something new. It's a learning phase. It's starting something new, working out the things that work, working out the things that don't, and moving forward with everything that is working. The One of Wisdom says, yes, you can. He says, it's time to shine your light in the world. You have everything you need. You are ready. You can do it. This is the magician card in traditional tarot. So if you are having a few doubts and not so sure, the magician comes in and says, absolutely no need to worry. You are ready. Time for you to step up and time for you to shine. And here's your wonderful new opportunity. The zero of wisdom is the dreamer card in traditional tarot. This is you following your dreams and enjoying new opportunities. 
here they are coming in and here you are going after what you want and taking those first action steps to get you there. The Two of Emotion, how lovely. It's the same card, different deck. It's like book ends for your reading, the beginning and the end. So just to reiterate, good relationships, positive outcome to discussions and crystal clear communication with other people. So looking at the reading overall, your mindfulness homework is talking things over, discussing and getting absolutely clear on what you would like. It's a time of healing and moving on. Making those positive changes now, but doing so carefully. Look at all your options carefully. Think it all through. Talk it over. Because these wonderful opportunities are coming in. Here comes the clarity. Here comes the new ideas. And here you are with everything you need, ready to go and going after what you would really like to do. So positive movement forward, positive momentum and do your homework first. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for subscribing. That does make a huge difference to me. So have a wonderful week and I'll see you here again soon.